welcome back to Minis Models of Mayhem. We have a flower pot. I have a bag of random crap. And I have a mold from a previous video. Looks like we're building a stomper. Right, as I have my initial rummage through the bag to get out some bits and bobs we're gonna need for this stomper, uh, I'm gonna show you um, a picture of the um, stomper design I'm gonna base it on. So um, this picture, it's going to be around here somewhere. Not sure where I'll put it in the edit. This was a picture that came out oh, years ago. It came out around the time they were actually making the Stomper kit the Games Workshop were. And um, we all got very excited about it and thought, whoa, that's what, that's what the new Stomper's going to look like. It's going to be an awesome kit. We'll all get some of them. And sadly, uh, it's not what it looks like. It looked like, well, we've all seen it. It looked like this. So, um, yeah, so that's the plan of action is to try and make some kind of uh, stomper that looks a bit like that. So I'm just going to go through this box now, have a good old rummage through it and, and see what bits I can find. So um, yeah, so I can get this thing built and uh, make it look cool and make it look similar to that concept sketch. So um, I'm going to go and do that. Right, as you can see, I've started marking out uh, where I'm going to be cutting the flower pot down to give us the shape of our um, of our stomper, give him his body. This is probably a bit too low, so I am going to come up uh, probably about 10 mil, another 10 mil, and cut around there. Uh, so as you can see, I've started cutting it, started cutting out the indent first because obviously it's easier to do with more structural integrity of the um, of the point itself. So I'll cut that out. Uh, I will then probably then cut the whole thing in half, split straight down the middle, and then I will cut off the bottom ring, and then that will give me my um, sort of basic framework to start building on. The next thing to do then would be to get some foam core cut to fill in the back and fill out this section here, and then a bit up in here as well, maybe a little bit in the back there, so I can put some kind of ledging platform at the back as well. But let's get the rest of this chopped off, and uh, I'll show you what's going on. There you go, that's the pot all chopped up and chopped down, as it were. I don't really see it if I put it out that way, but you kind of get the idea. So the next thing to do, get myself some sandy paper. And I need to sand the front, the front there, and all the internals as well. Because obviously I'm going to be adding stuff to this. And flower pot material is not good plastic to glue stuff to. So I've got to sand all that. And then, once that's done, I've got myself a bit of foam core here. Just need to place my flower, my flower pot bit onto it as level as possible. It doesn't overly matter how accurate I am. Again, as of all my orc builds, same old excuse, it's an orc. So I'm just going to put that on there. Like so. Mark the top. Like that. Mark the bottom there. Don't need to mark the bottom there because I'm using the corner of the foam core. There's a guide there and there. Beautiful. And then we'll get myself a little a ruler. Or in this case, um, a square. And I'll hit my camera at the same time. Forever the professional. And just to draw where I'm going to cut. You probably can't see these lines I'm using, which is fine. Um, because you don't really need to, I do, and I can. I know it's. Um, I'm using a blue Sharpie on a black foam core, but it's absolutely fine. As long as I can see it, that'll be fine. So that's the back. That, oh, you go, you can see it. There you go. And then that'll be just cut out and glued inside. And there, what I'll do is I'll come in on, and I'll cut on the internal sides just to take off a little bit of material for the um, for the flower pot so it's not too stretched over. So let's get that chopped up and done and get it glued in. And then once it's glued in, we'll use that. Once it, that give it some structural integrity, and then we can use that to trace the bottom section and then the internal structure as well. So let's get that chopped up, get that sanded, and then get that glued inside of that. And I'll probably use hot glue for that as well, just for a bit of speed on this. So there we go. And just like that, 
are all glued in. So I can now use this because that's giving me a little bit more structure to it now. So I can well whack that on here. And I can trace around it. The bottom. It's not going well though. Like so. Just nice and gently trace around it. I don't want to deform the curve. Like so. And then we'll cut that out and glue it into the bottom here. And then we'll trace this, trace that curve as well, stick it on, stick it in, and then that'll give us some nice um, solid structure then to build all our metal, all our plates on and that kind of thing. So nice sharp knife next. Cut this out, glue it in and do the rest. But you don't need to see that. You, I'm sure you've seen hundreds of people cutting cardboards hundreds of times. Oh, and yes, I did use a hot glue gun to fix the back bit in. As you can see, it's all nicely sanded now. So that's given me a really good key. Uh, and also bits are gonna be glued over this and stuff. So that should work out quite nicely. So uh, onwards and upwards with this then. So there's a beautiful bit of structure. We're not gonna worry about that. That's gonna have some card or even some plating over it anyway. So we don't really worry, need to worry about that. So that's all there. I've got a bit of, um, of my uh, armor plates cast up. So these now need to get stuck Ooh, to, to there. So I'm going to try and see if um, some hot glue works. Uh, and further than that, we'll try a bit of super glue. But um, that's a whack on a blob of the old hot glue here. I think we're going to need quite a bit. The, guns, the gun is also up on its hottest uh, setting. Well, I say it's hottest setting. It's only got one. Um, but that's quite hot. So let's try that's, that's quite a thin one. Now, I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to overlap it at the back here. Because obviously there's going to be all gubbins and technoma bobbins going on in there. And also I want to overlap it on the front here. Because obviously it's going to have cladding on there. And we need to make sure. Let's pull that back a bit. Ugh, that we've got a lot a bit of uh, bit of overlap as well. So it still looks like it's all part of the same thing. Like so, it'll go like that. By the time I've glued on some bits and bobs. So that should look quite smart. Uh, hot glue seems to have held. So I'm going to carry on and start gluing some plates and the lark, the like, the lark, the like even. And we're going to go all the way down the back, down here, and round the bottom, and up there. And that'll be a good start, I think. So uh, let's get that done. And then we can, oh, that's going to take a while. So we'll head back after that and once that's all done. So that's all the cladding done on the chunky, chunky body. Chunky boy. There you go. It's quite solid. So that's good. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, work on the head. Uh, I've got this uh, Bisto cheese sauce container. It's card. And then, uh, but it's going to be, I'm going to, you can see I've started marking it out. to cut it around there. And then that's gonna. I can't, you can't, I, need to, I need to set this camera up better for the next one. Um, yeah, it will sit sort of like that. Can you, yeah, is that kind of yeah? It will sit in there, and, you'll, and, and then uh, yeah, like that. So you'll get that kind of orc stance to it as well. And then the back end, this bit here with the, I'm gonna actually put on the back as part of like a boiler system. And then we'll. I've got a bag, some bags of gubbins here. Um, to add to it so let's crack on with that uh, get the head cut down get it clad in some uh, some more resin plates and then we'll start work on the back and then legs and arms I think yeah legs and arms I have an empty space on the torso I have a table of crap and much glue so it's time to get this all greebled up and looking all key. So I made this bad boy out of the top 
of the Bisto gravy granule thing. Um, it's very simple. I just glued the lid back on. Some card strips and some big rhinestones glued around it, like some big rivets. Sadly, the front, so anything I can glue to it uh, will stick. And then I'm going to bosh that sort of there ish, like so. So, like a big boilery type thing. And then everything else will come off it pipes. I've got this kind of tank thing to put on it. And then loads of pipes and cables and little things that I can put the cables in and have them attached and coming off all, it's all over the place. So let's crack on with that. Start detailing this bad boy up. This is good. This is the fun part. Beautiful. Bit of gravelly, bit of greebling on the back. Really pleased with this. I've got some more riveting to do. Um, some rivets on the sort of boiler area and some around here and then a few in there. But that's pretty much the back gubbins done. And I'm really, really, really pleased with this. Um, and then the pipes carry out from there. And they come around and they go around to the front as well. So I've carried them around. Next thing to finish off this bad boy. So this is the head. That will go on like so. And if you look, the pipes fit just either side of him. So that'd be cool. So we will be running along that kind of angle. So I'll, got, I'll give this um, a bit of a facelift. So he needs a jaw and a nose and various gubbins. I probably, I am going to do an interior, but maybe not yet, if that makes sense. I want to get the main bulk of the, um, the, the stomper done. Um, so let's get this head done and then and then we'll see where we are with that we'll also see how long the video is as well at this point um so let's crack on so this is the head we've got so far it was just a recap it was um like a cheesy a card cheese sauce container i've put some resin plates all around it i flattened it off at the back so it fits onto well you can't really see it um so it'll fit flush onto the back or onto the onto the front of the torso, the back of that onto the front of that. Um, I've just started building out a bit of sort of bit of like an evil eye. I've cut out another viewport as well, so that needs detailing up with a bit of a frame, perhaps some bars in it. He needs an eyebrow, he needs a nose, and he needs a big old gob, and that's what I'm going to build next. But I'm going to got some of these lovely cogs and stuff, which will go on the side, like so. And then we'll build out with some, um, probably use some Fomex, build out a, a gob, some Fomex teeth up it, and then we'll just get this front detailed. And then uh, we'll see how we get on. Let's do that. Now there's a face, only a mother could love. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That'll kind of do. I might put a few more ooh, pipes and stuff around the outside. But um, other than that, that will do, and it will fit nicely. Under there, there we go. There we go. Like that, like so. Go on, and then if I turn to the side, there you get a side profile. Right, so I've got arms and legs to do, and they will probably be in the next video. So let's see how we get on with that. And that's that for part one. I think we'll leave him there. Uh, as I mentioned, just very briefly, um, I've got the arms to do. And I've got some legs to do as well, which is going to take a bit of time to work out, especially as that body's become quite weighty. So um, if you like this and you want to see part two, you know what to do. Click the old like button and subscribe. It all helps the channel. My you know, subscribers have been really slowly going up. It's been brilliant to see. Um, there is Patreon as well. There's a little thing floating around here somewhere. Um, I've just updated the um, Patreon um second tier the, the larger tier of the two so go and check that out if you can uh, i'll put the link in below um so yeah i will see you guys in um, part two take care uh have enjoy your crafting and i'll speak to you soon see you later guys